Let's get this show popping, man. It's 1.13 a.m. And I got to work, too. Got to wake up at 7 o'clock. Oh, man. It's no secret that we discuss shoes a lot on this channel. But one thing that I haven't really done is talk about how to take care of those shoes. Because it's one thing to be buying nice expensive shoes, but it's something entirely different taking care of them. So this is going to be part of a video series. This is just the first video. Coming up, I'll make videos on how to clean your leather shoes, how to clean your suede shoes. But in this video, we're going to talk about two items that you must have to make your shoes last longer. <laughs> Got you, man. You thought that was going to say intro, didn't you? <laughs> Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Riche from ChasingRider.com and in this video we're going to talk about two must-have shoe care items. But before we get to that, let's just have a quick talk. I started my channel on January 21st, 2019 and it took me about 48 days to get to 100 subscribers. But after those 48 days, it took me 74 days to go from 100 subscribers to 200 subscribers. Like if somebody were to tell me before I started YouTube that it would take that long to get to 200 subscribers, I wouldn't have believed it, you know, but that's exactly what happened. But I happened to really enjoy making the videos, so I didn't really care that much about the number of subscribers. And also it seems like I was helping a lot of guys because the comments were very positive. Shout out to all the guys that's been with me from the beginning too, you know who you are. But as I was making more videos, they would tell me that the content is so good that they were very surprised that I would have such low amount of subscribers, you know what I mean? The way that I look at it is we all have to start at zero and work our way up. But I'd be lying if I said that it didn't really cross my mind that I should have more subscribers than I did, you know? I'm sure those of you that been with me from the beginning noticed, but a couple days ago, I hit a thousand subscribers. It's crazy too because it kind of came out of nowhere. Friday night when I went to bed, I had about 760 subscribers. When I woke up Saturday morning, I had 800 subscribers. I was like, all right, you know, this is starting to come. But Saturday, it just went crazy. And Sunday when I woke up, I had 900 subscribers. So it took me 24 hours to go from 800 subscribers to 900 subscribers. Some of you have been supporting this channel from the beginning, leaving comments and serving other people's comments. We really have a tight-knit community, you know what I mean? As the channel grows, it's probably going to get harder for me to be able to answer every single comment because I really enjoy having a conversation with you where it's not just me talking at you, we're actually having a conversation in the comments, you know what I'm saying? But nothing is gonna change, the channel's still going to remain the same for better or for worse, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're still gonna talk about shoes, we're still gonna talk about classic menswear, but I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. And thank you to everybody that came aboard within the past couple days. This is what we do here, man. I'm very happy to have you here. You can expect a new video from me every week, you know what I mean? But that's enough about the subscriber talk. Let's talk about why you're really here, which is the two must-have shoe care items. Yeah, we're gonna do another unboxing, man. So I've actually ordered those last week. One of the items, I've gotten a few of those before, so this is not going to be really any different than the rest. Some might think that it's overkill, but the other one is something that I've wanted for a long time. Now that I hit a thousand subscribers, I was like, I need a gift, so I ordered that, you know what I mean? I'm lying my ass off, man. <laughs> I ordered that way before I thought I would get to a thousand subscribers. But anyway, man, I ordered this item from a company called Quality Shop um, from Europe. I'll include a link in the comments. This video is not sponsored. I'm not getting anything from these guys, but it's quality stuff, so no pun intended. So I really wanted to share it with you as I always do, you know what I mean? That was a horrible unboxing job, by the way, but... But it's what inside the box anyway, right? Alright, so let's get to the items, man. Alright, right, so this is the first box. I know exactly what's in here. Well, I don't know what's in both, but... This one I've seen before, the other one I've seen it online, but I've never actually held it in my hand or seen it in person, you know what I mean? So we're gonna put that to the side. And then this is the, the second one, but we're going to do this one last. All right, so this, these are some shoe trees, man. All right, these are some nice wooden shoe trees. 
These shoe trees have the double barrel with a wooden handle, which I really like. Actually, I did a video before about shoe trees and the different kind of shoe trees. I'll link it somewhere up here so you can check it out. So I'm not really going to go too in depth. I just really wanted to show you the two shoe care items that you must have to make your shoes last longer. So the first are shoe trees. Very important that you put shoe trees in your shoes, fellas. The last thing you want is to buy some expensive shoes, take them off your feet, and don't put any shoe trees in them. The shoe trees serve two different purposes. A, they draw the more strip from the shoes and B they help the shoe retain its shape so very very important item that you must have for your shoes I got the shoe tree specifically for the Joe work shoe that I did the unboxing for in the last video those shoes didn't come with any shoe trees so since I finally gonna be wearing them <laughs> I have to get shoe trees for them first all right so I got the shoes right here let's see how they fit you want to turn it to the side when you're putting it in there you go. Compared to other shoe trees that I use, for example, these shoe trees are from J. Fitzpatrick. So if you look at the shoe trees side by side, you can see there's a big difference in end step. Like the J. Fitzpatrick shoe trees, the end step is a lot higher versus the shoe trees from Quality Shop has a very shallow end step. To me, the most important part is does it fit the front and does it fit the back? And in this case, it does, you know? So if you're going to take anything from this video, is to make sure that you always have shoe trees for your shoes. Once again, this is all from Quality Shop. It has a spring in the toe. So depending on how wide the toe box is, there's a spring in here to accommodate that. And by the way, these shoe trees cost about $55. You can definitely get less expensive shoe trees, but I feel like the $55 price on these are warranted. Once again, I have a few of those. I've showed another color in one of my other videos and they've always treated my shoes well. Now let's get to the second item. Once again, this is my first time actually seeing this in person. Like I've seen this online a few times. I was like, yo, I gotta get me this. These are from a company called Abbey Horn. This is what's called a shoehorn, if you're not familiar with it. Now this is not just any shoehorn. This is something really special right here, man. It looks even better in person than I was anticipating, actually. Now, there are a lot of shoe horns out there, and just because it's called a shoe horn doesn't mean that it's made out of horn, but this one actually is. And the great thing about it is it's handmade, and being that it's made from real horn, no two pieces are exactly the same. So you're getting something that's truly unique. These were the same price as the shoe tree, so these were $55 also. Now, should you be spending $55 on a shoe horn? Absolutely not. Now, once again, I've been wanting to get this for a while, but I've never actually pulled the trigger because I was thinking that $55 was a lot of money to spend on a shoe horn myself, you know what I mean? But look at this though. This shoehorn is amazing, man. And these are made in England, by the way. This is 12 inches long. Pause. <laughs> but I'm very happy that I finally pulled the trigger on this. This looks even better than it does on the website. And just in case you are wondering what kind of shoehorn did I used to use prior to getting this one. This one says Carlos Santos on it. So this came with one of my Carlos Santos shoes. Like I have one of those in my drawer at work. So something like this usually comes free with your shoes, depending on the shoes, of course. But if you have to buy something like this, this is probably a couple bucks, I would imagine. You know, this is very flimsy, but it does the job. The idea is not to put your feet in your shoes without having anything there, you know what I mean? So you're probably saying to yourself, if you already have these, why did you go and buy this one? I mean, seriously, look at them. You tell me why did I buy this one when I already had this one. This one right here is a metal shoehorn. I really love this shoehorn because it's so long. Pause again. But <laughs> if you're standing up, you can put the shoes on without having to bend over. I first saw this one at this tailor shop and he told me he got it from Amazon. So I bought this from Amazon. This probably was like 10 to $15. That was so long ago, I've had this for a long time. I still plan on using this one. Just wanted to have something nicer, man. That's cool. <laughs> so these were the two shoe care items that every man must have. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.